How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Forza Horizon 5. The Summer Party Forza Horizon 5 update is right around the corner. We're going to be discussing that today with some potential clues that we've been given about what's coming, along with some other bits and bobs that's been announced over the past week that's all related to Forza. I know I disappeared for the past couple of weeks, but I was at Silverstone last week for quite a few days. Got to see Lewis and Norris on the podium, I got to see the Brad Pitt movie being filmed, I was right next to the TV cameras got to see the museum and a Bugatti Devo on the motorway on the way home so that was an eventful week but I'm back and I'm ready to roll. Very quickly to finish off the car pack giveaway that I did a couple of weeks ago here are the last two winners I'll be contacting you very shortly. Make sure to stay subscribed for any more future giveaways I do for just commenting on the video. So over in the Twitter world, not much has happened. There's been a few announcements. There was a Barbie movie live stream to do with Forza Horizon 5 on Friday, July the 14th, which was yesterday. Um, I can't imagine you'll be that disappointed if you missed that. It's obviously to do with the Barbie cars that are now in Forza and the Barbie movie releasing next Friday, I think. More Barbie news. To celebrate Barbie the movie only in Jul theaters July 21st, the best Barbie creations will enter a competition to win a huge prize pack with a custom Barbie controller. Now, I don't know about you, but I don't really want half the stuff there. I don't want a Barbie movie doll that sat around my house. I'd take a controller, but the other things don't really amuse me. So I won't be entering the competition, but that's personal preference. If you guys want to, you can see the details here and how to find out more. Go to the Twitter page and you might get this Barbie Xbox Forza Horizon 5 collaboration prize pack if you win. Now, the other thing that was on Twitter is a tease towards the summer party update, which has a clue in it, I believe. Let's roll the video now. Hello everyone, summer is upon us in full force and Horizon Mexico is throwing a party to celebrate. Join me and Playground Games on the next Forza Monthly for a full preview of the new Summer Party series update coming to Forza Horizon 5. The festival is going to be awash with summer festivities with loads of new events, cars, rewards, all sorts for you to enjoy during the long hot summer days and nights. I'll see you there. Now, last time we got an announcement like this in the in the Twitter video, we were given a tease towards the update. Now, nothing really stood out at first between what she said in this clip. However, listen more carefully to this bit. During the long, hot summer days and nights. I'll see you there. If you're enjoying this video and finding it helpful, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any videos like this. And on Monday, you'll find out all about Series 2023 in one video. I believe that bit is a hint towards the day and night cycle. You may remember back in series 19, we had the extended night time, as you can see on here at Midnight's Horizon. It came with extended night time. It was only temporary, but everybody loved it, including me. I usually really dislike light night time because it makes photo mode really annoying for thumbnails and stuff. But now we can change that within photo mode. I'm all for night time being extended. So the question is, is nighttime being extended permanently within this update or is it just being temporarily extended again? If we look at the suggestions hub, we can see that keeping the nighttime extended is a highly voted feature now, and we know that the suggestions hub is a place they definitely go off for their features. So maybe they are keeping it extended from now on, if that's what this little hint means. Um, hopefully a few other highly uh, voted features is this one here for example is improve the Forza Horizon 5's nighttime lighting that's a highly voted feature as well maybe that's what they're hinting towards they're not so much extending it but improving it we'll have to wait and see either way maybe it's a bit of both it makes sense that it would be at least one of them two things so as a feature for series 23 next week extended nighttime certainly a possibility now, what else in terms of the summer party update? Well, we have the splash screen. This is the update here. It doesn't actually say anything about extended night time here, but it doesn't mean we're not going to get it. So we've got New Horizon Story, New Cars, Summer Party Makeover, and it's New Collectible. New Collectible, we'll forget about. There's no way of knowing what that's going to be. Summer Party Makeover, obviously we can presume that when there's a makeover, a serious or not serious, the stadium usually gets something. So we can expect maybe a summer party within the stadium. What exactly a summer party is, I don't know. I guess it's a party in the summer. I don't know how they're going to get that into the podium. Just very celebratory vibes, I guess. 
um, to drive around in we'll have to wait and see new cars we can make a few guesses on them and new horizon story now what interests me is the logo on the new horizon story now that seems very specific to me i believe this is a logo of i think they're called pilot hats or something i've got a picture of jeremy clarkson wearing one here actually now, when I look at this, I don't know about you, this is just my opinion, but please feel free to drop your opinions in as well. When I look at this logo, I think of historic cars, historic racing, really old, back to the origins of sort of vehicles. Do you know what I mean? So perhaps this Horizon story will be about the history of racing, history of speed, Speaking of history of speed, the festival of speed is on this weekend. I don't know if that matches up with anything. Series 23 is next week. Festival of speed is on this week. I don't know. Maybe there's some correlation there. So maybe it's going to be quite a big horizon story celebrating something to do with cars or automotive nature, history. Do you see what I mean? What do you guys think? Am I stretching there? There's been a few cars leaked in the past that would fit that quite nicely. For example, the Beast of Turin. That's a very... I can see that car fitting very nicely with that logo in the Horizon Story there. And this was leaked a very long time ago, well over a year ago now, and we've still not seen it in the game. It's definitely found in the files, so perhaps that's making its... Um, debut as for the new cars section of the splash screen again we're always shooting in the dark at this we have the leaked car list that we can go off if there's anything that you would th think would fit a summer party vibe pick that we do still have that tiktok that was posted a few weeks ago that seemed to be heavily hinting towards some kind of devil slash satan slash you know that kind of vibe car now again this could have been nothing but there were people saying that there has been references to the hennessy exorcist that showed up a few months ago which i couldn't find but if that is true that is a very very big sign that that's cars coming eventually playground games don't usually give out obvious hints for no reason so if the hennessy exorcist was hinted this tiktok adds up even more towards it my issue is that the summer party idea doesn't really add up with like a devil do you know what i mean a summer party update adding a devil car it doesn't really match um so it might not be this update we get that car or whatever that car that tiktok is hinting towards it might be the next one but again we're just talking in general here about what possibilities we have on the table for summer party update if anything, I thought the Barbie cars were pretty fitting for a summer party update, um, but they came out a few weeks ago, so now I'm sort of left thinking, oh, I wonder what's coming. We have the Forza Monthly live stream on Monday. It's going to have some Forza Motorsport information in, we can presume, from the thumbnail. So we'll find out all about Series 23 on Monday. That's everything for today, guys. I'll see you all later.